OG dickhead on the ones and twos. My boy OG dickhead on the ones and twos. That looked like a broken watch again. back right. there. The Crusaders lasted see for that centuries watch right and Jerusalem slipped out of the broke Pope's hands. Turkey fell. You see that watch Spain right there? Spain and Portugal were invaded right by Islamic forces. Broke -ass and watch. Portugal, they called see it how they're connected on the other side? Fatima, this rich Muhammad's nigga won't get his watch fixed. Never dreamed it would become world famous. Years later, when a Muslim army invaded Jerusalem, the Crusaders lasted for centuries and Jerusalem slipped out of the Pope's hands. Supported by the people that I follow. The rest of the people don't even got a fucking support. It's a home. Because I'm only going to follow my supporters. It's a home, this nigga. Thank you, Revex. I appreciate you. Chapiana. Welcome to the broadcast. Tori, welcome to the broadcast. Shut your bitch up. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just seeing what else we got to watch. It's not Halloween. Search for lots of the local caregivers. It's a good check out. Join now. Care.com. What the cook I do? Nothing. You got to come over here with the peach. Don't worry about it. As soon as we get into our goddamn it, goddamn it. As soon as we start our goddamn it, goddamn it, they get the hating on this, right, y'all? How y'all doing? We was just over there finna get into our tea, and we was, we was goddamn knocked, knocked off our rocker. One box. Yesterday around this time, yesterday around this time, he is at 10 boxes. 
11 boxes. Today he's at 10% of that. Didn't make nothing this month. You hear me? It's sad. It is sad. I don't want to explain. I'm going to go back and explain my math. It's a dirty See, I don't like to pull out too far. I just like to be all up in it. And I'm a. Oh, let me stop talking. I'm telling you. I don't get pussy. I get stomach. Know that. Listen to the uncircumcised nigga. They got my next, okay? Lesbian. Period. They always come back. That females be talking. Y'all females always come back. Cut it off. I be in the ribs. I'm not playing. I, I get nothing but I don't get head. I get throat. I'm not playing with you. Give me that throat, girl. This nigga looks sick. Oh, God. I'm trying to see this beer run through this motherfucking... TV, but he keep coming back too fast. You know, we playing with them. Uh oh. That's the hedonism. Look at the complexion she's gonna change to. Now well, listen, man. Listen. Did I fuck 21? No, I wasn't attracted to 21. I don't know why everybody think I fuck 21 for what? Look at the dressers. We got two mid match dressers cool. right next to each other. Look at them. Look at the drawer handles. He got two mismatch dressers like somebody gave him to him. What right next to what? each other. Wait till he move. You see that? I dress? told him I did I fuck 21. Move. No. Oh, man, we back on that again. Look at the dresser. Why, why, why everybody want me to fuck 21 so bad? I don't know. I'm just glad that she hasn't lost hope yet. Because if worse comes to worse, the chance didn't make it. I'm legitimately worried about what this is going to do to I lost a little weight. Why everybody keep saying I lost a little weight? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Isn't it the hoodie? Same to me. I think it's the hoodie. It's, it's the motherfucking hoodie. Lost weight. Lost weight where? Lost weight where? I'm still the same. Lost weight where? Where is the hoodie? Where is Shirt off and look like nothing. You know what you was expecting. Oh, no, 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 I did used to be bigger. I'm not down, but um, <laughs> he was expecting to see some shit like this. <laughs> he was expecting to see some shit like this, you know. <laughs> he was expecting to see some shit like this. <laughs> you done lost some weight, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most epic fail ever did in the goddamn Yigo history. That was epic right there. <laughs> Lost weight where? Rolls up right there. Now I got my trolls up there, y'all. Right there, so I can look at both of y'all at the same time. You saw it with two girlfriends? Yeah. Three broke motherfuckers living in the same goddamn establishment is what you saw. Now, what we was doing before we got rudely interrupted was crunching the numbers from yesterday. And we had came up with a number that was $36,720 spent on two PKs. Excuse me. Now, now to be relevant on this good ass day that they had, where they spent $36,720 on the app right borrow thirty six thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars with no rebate right now let's do the math 
TKO was already at, let's just do his numbers alone first, 46 times 170. Okay, $8,000, $7,800, right? It cost $7,800. They, they spent $7,800, right, to move TKO up from 16000 to 24000 Okay? So they just spent $7,800 to make $8,000. You spent $7,820 to make $8,000. So you got a profit of $180 from that 46 boxes that you borrowed. Then we got Ebb, right? Ebb check was $12,000 yesterday. So for her to make another $12,000, they spent $28,000, $28,900 to get her $12,000 more. They spent $28,900 to get her check to raise by $12,000. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. And they called it a successful day. After we watched them frat and feud about not getting 150 boxes on the PK that they did twice trying to trick Bigo with a 10 minute PK that wasn't official, they turn around the next day, do the same thing a 50 box, no rebate, right? A 50 box, let him tell it, a 50 box PK. Who did TKO go against yesterday? Who, who was, who did TKO, uh, who was his opponent in the PK? Brandon. So you telling me that Bigo, listen, so Bigo, after giving them a 700 box PK the next day, set up a PK with TKO against Brandon and Ebb against Brandon simultaneously. Bigo did that. Because we know they didn't have a big box PK. We know for a fact. We know for a fact they didn't have a big box, right? Mm. I'm going to have to do something else to see me. She did. All right, there we go. <laughs> right? So they didn't have a PK. To solidify that, we'll say that TKO got 46 boxes in his 50 box PK. We got 46 boxes in a 50 box PK. No rebate. Because he didn't get his 50 boxes, right? No attitude at the end. No being mad, no nobody sabotaged it, no where's Tasty Mocha, no nothing. Okay, so it's fair to say that that was a fake PK that we did yesterday just to trick the followers and everybody else to give him gifts, whatever y'all can, because I just need anything organic to knock down what I'm finna owe these people. I got all 40 of your boxes to get you to three million. And it was already planned because it was premeditatedly given to us, as Brandon said, either today or tomorrow, because he didn't know when he was going to be able to borrow the boxes. So he said today or tomorrow, they both go be at they. But if you knew they had a PK, then you would have said today they go be at they quota. Why would you say today they go reach their quota? Because you ain't know if you could do the PK today or the next day because you ain't know how your credit was with borrowing boxes. Now all these people feeling sorry for the motherfucker. So they like, oh, I got you, I got you, because they putting him above his means thinking he got it. The man ain't got no motherfucking beans. Now he's sitting at under a million tier and his host doing they thug thizzle. Why he ain't hit, why didn't he hit his three million? Why didn't the CEO, the boss, and the go to the app hit his three million this month? Are we just going backwards and going in circles? I think even the strongest of relationships needs to be Hello? from time to time, right? Keys, is y'all in here coming in queue? Anybody from Keys in here coming in queue, please? 
Oh, ain't nobody in here from Keys. All right, cool. Hit the like button over here, y'all. Like, real talk. It costs a like to get in here. But, what, but we're not doing well. Yeah. Something is off, and I don't know what it is. And, you know, it's like we're going backwards. Okay, so, okay. So, Ed, yesterday what you did show us, and we learned something, is you don't have no organic support because before your PK, your top contributor was Brandon Keys, and you did 169 boxes, and you can't do two of them bitches on the regular line. You did 169 boxes in 20 minutes, and none of that shit coming to you. You will not see none of that shit this month. Yo, check, go be short and eat motherfucker. Watch next month how much. Watch, listen, this is what I want y'all to do for me. On the first of the month, I want y'all to go look at Ebony Sins. Take a screenshot of how, where her sins at and watch her sins go up by 2 million. Her sins is going to go up by 2 million. Watch what I tell you. She going to send over 2 million beans next month because they got to do the same thing with TKO. Go look at this shit. Go look at his sins. They're going to go up by 2 million. Or they going to erase their motherfucking sin history. Go watch Brandon's. Screenshot his. Screenshot Trina B's. All they shit going to go up by 2 million next month. All of them. They got to pay all that shit back. And going to have to borrow some shit next month to hit it again. I guarantee when they do a big box next month, Brandon is not going to be the one to save them. He's going to have to borrow all that shit again. He's going to hurry up and pay people back on the first. And at the end of the month, he's uh, he going to borrow some shit from people. But it's going to be less than what he borrowed. It's going to be less than what he borrowed this month. The bill going to go down a little bit. But he going to still owe motherfuckers. These are facts. She had to throw 20 boxes on Carmel yesterday. Exactly. As soon as that PK over, she got to start dumping that shit back out. Because it ain't organic and it's not hers. And if she dropped 20 yesterday, she going to drop some more today. Whoever ain't at their tier, Ebony go get them there because that's Brandon's money. If you ever think uh, Ebony go empty out her wallet for TKO, she came in there and dropped 40 boxes, 41 boxes. Do you ever think she go get a TKO 41 boxes? Do you really think she support TKO and Keys to get them 41 boxes? $7,000? Hell no. She ain't never going to get TKO $7,000. She is nothing but a mule. She ain't nothing but a mule. She's a slave. A contingent slave that never had shit, so she cool. She know her allowance going down to a thousand next month. I got you, Ed. You know, after we do this, next month we go hit it. Then we go get the real rebate and I'll be able to bless you. They broke as fuck. Oh. Huh? Yeah, we on YouTube. If they do some whole shit, just come over to YouTube, y'all. We we'll get it. Just come on YouTube if they do some whole shit, and you can put it on your TV. It can be on your TV while you can watch it on your TV. Big as fuck. Mhm. Mm Grand Rising. Mm. I just seen that video. Yeah, I ain't even gonna talk about that. Took care of us, but um, I sent her home so she could get some rest. Mm -hmm. An agency owner gets you get something to drink? I did, yeah. six G's for each house that hits three million quotas. Yes, yes Carmel. Yeah, energy. agency owner do get six G's for everyone, but the thing about it is the agency owner gets six thousand for hitting your quota, but the agency owner is paying you to get to your three million. So if I'm paying you to get the three million to get six thousand, what am I really making? Look, what I'm really making if I'm paying your tab to get there, take fifty one thousand dollars to hit three million. It take fifty one thousand dollars to get to three million. Takes your fans and supporters to give you fifty one thousand dollars in one month for you to hit three million. So if you giving them the money to hit three million and they bringing twenty four in and you getting six on the back end, that's thirty thousand out of fifty four. Fifty-one thousand. You're getting back thirty. I don't care how it happened. I just I need proof that my husband is. Fuck it. I even do you better. You getting back thirty-nine. You get back forty-five thousand. All right. Let's do all of the math. You getting back. 
This is a fact. This money he lost because he ain't get no rebates, right? If he get them big box rebates, then he make more money. So equivalent, all he made was the twenty four thousand for the three million. After three million, it don't count. Then we go go over pretty TT with her lying ass. After the three million, none of them beans don't count no more. Okay, you just wasting beans. If a motherfucker had three million, just like Trina B's at his two million, he can't get the three million, but he's still telling y'all to run it up. He's telling y'all to run it up because he owe people. And he could get some money in his wallet to help pay back his bills, but nobody tells you to run it up when I'm at the max. I can't make no more money. What the fuck am I telling you to gift me for? Don't give me shit. I'm at my quota. I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. I ain't been on the other app because I don't need shit. I'm at my quota. I got my hours and I'm at my quota. What am I going to go live over there for? So have people give me some gifts that don't mean shit, that don't count toward shit? No. You should be on zero stars every day. Let your supporters chill and rest. You give your supporters a week off. Your supporters get four days off to enjoy their money, buy their kids some candy and shit like that. But they don't because they greedy. So let's do it. 24000 Now don't forget Brandon is equivalent to giving Ed her whole $3 million. She might get three to five boxes in in regular support a month. Let's just be real. Ten boxes in support. She, the bitch might do 100K tier by herself without brand. All right? So we got 24000 plus 15000 is 39000 plus 6000 is 45000 For 51000 you're getting back forty five. Twenty-four thousand for three million, fifteen thousand in your wallet for every time you hit a million, you get five thousand dollars in your wallet. That's thirty-nine thousand plus he the agency owner, so he gets six more thousand, which gives him forty-five thousand out of the fifty-one thousand he spent to get him there. One no other rebates this month because they ain't do no PKs where they got a rebate. So this month Ebony made forty-five thousand dollars for Brandon and he spent fifty-one thousand for her to get it. All right, so we lost right here. TKO, exact same thing, except TKO didn't spend that much because Armani uh, gave him gifts. Armani gave all her gifts to TKO. So he probably only down maybe 3000 with TKO. He probably lost three bands with TKO because Armani supports TKO also. Yetta supports TKO also. Barbie supports TKO also. And he ain't giving them bitches back nothing. If he put his dick in your ass, you ain't getting no cash. That's a fact. That's a TKO fun fact. So he got three bitches that got dookie on this motherfucking yeenus that he ain't giving back nothing. Trina B still over here sucking Brandon balls and Brandon ain't do shit for him this month. Jaguar Milan held, held him afloat this month. What happened to Jazzy Cherry being one of his top contributors? Why Jazzy Cherry ain't coming over there no more as his top contributor? How did, uh, what's her name? Harley get admin in Trina B. Room. How did Harley get admin? Because she's one of his top gifters. That's how she got admin. Because whoever he gifts him, he tried to give him admin real quick. And he a nobody. What did he do all day today? Play reruns, play reviews of what everybody else did. He played me and Pumpkin. Then he playing Ashley and Leah. All reruns, they sing a song. No fucking content at all. Just a boring ass gay nigga that talk with a motherfucking stutter. If he wasn't retarded, y'all wouldn't watch him. If he was normal, y'all be saying he a whack ass broadcaster. But since he's gay and he's stupid and he's slow and he retarded, he funny. Because he's stuttering, uh, 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 and sing a gay song, he funny. But he really ain't. He ain't shit. All it takes for you to get mad at him and you'll be like, man, that nigga ain't shit. I'm a nigga that they don't like and they still got to laugh at. Like, that motherfucker, I hate that bitch, but he funny. I'm funny for real, cuz. Uh, that ain't pastor because he will get in the box. I ain't never getting in Trina B box again. I will never get in Trina B box again. I will never, ever, ever get in Trina B box again. Ever. That's how Mary had a little lamb. Ever. He can talk about me all day. He not going to make me get in his box. Ever. I will never grace that live again. Ever. All his views will be from him. Never. I don't give a fuck what he say or do. Never. I don't like Pastor. I really don't like him. 
I don't like this shit. I know you don't like this. I still don't understand why he would bring a personally engraved watch on such a dangerous mission and risk blowing his cover with it. The watch was found in the safe house. He didn't mm -hmm. have it on his side. Why, why risk it? Why risk anything like that when you have to come back home to You're right. Meanwhile, Abby's living through a nightmare. He has been on a long time. She she sleep. Sleep. Leave that alone. Yes. Who, TKO? TKO don't got no content. He sat there and fake flirt with women and talk about what he'll do. Uh, Polly, you know, when it comes to Polly, you, all he do is lie all day. This is Polly pimping. All I'm going to say is I want a relationship with somebody else so I can get him here. Well, yeah, you know, when it comes to this Polly, you got to be willing to give me your whole check. You got to be willing to work at a strip club because I can't put you on the corner. You got to be willing to deal with this. I'm a registered sex offender, she. Y'all watching a registered sex offender talk about sex and women all day. Y'all watching a nigga that took a 15-year-old's pussy all day. A 37-year-old man that refuses to recognize how old he is saying he's younger than Brandon. They asked him, is he younger than Brandon? And he said yes, and he's 37 years old, and he's older than Brandon. You man, do 2021 minus 1984, my nigga, so you can know how old you is. You gotta know how to, you gotta know how to uh, carry some shit, though. You have to cross some numbers out and carry them and then drop them down. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know how to cross that number out, make it a, in that zero to a, I promise you. These are what they did to summer. Have to cross that out, carry it up there, make that a seven, make that a tell stupid ass. I said, I said, uh, um, Ebony didn't know seven times three. Then somebody came in here and told me that Punkin didn't know two plus two. Uh, I just was concerned that you were going to go. They said somebody was over there doing math. I ain't talking about you talking. I'm just telling you they said that you might want to take some remedial courses. Summer class is available now and accepting applications. And, and you're telling me not to do that? I just, I don't get it. I never meant to make you feel like you couldn't be who you are. I just, you know, I was nervous that, that, that Summer was going to get hurt or that you were going to get in trouble. I was just trying to be the voice of reason. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, that's never going to work on me. Precious over there putting her new face on. She doing a stream home makeover. She don't do makeup. She do makeovers. She ain't finna look nothing like that bitch she woke up as. That she just had that shit. That she she gonna be this complexion. When y'all see Precious again, she this complexion now. She gonna be this complexion when she get. Oh my God! Did y'all see Ebony yesterday? That bitch looked like a real crackhead that's getting dressed to go turn some tricks on Thursday night. I swear to God, I can see her walking in some high heels down any strip. Motherfucking looking like I work for food. That bitch looked horrible. She really be looking like she just woke up in a casket. That makeup funeral home is fuck, man. I swear, no joking. Ebony is one of the ugliest bitches in the world, cuz. I swear, and she should get a sponge. Cuz watch, the next time she stay up all night, screenshot her as soon as she get on. Screenshot her. I don't want you to do nothing else. Just screenshot her picture when she come on. If she stay until 5 in the morning, 4 or 5 in the morning, screenshot her again. Her makeup be completely gone. I'm talking about the bitch transform without washing her face or nothing. That little 6 to 7 hour ass makeup she be putting on. I swear to God. I don't know how many applications she need to put on to make that shit last till her motherfucking broadcast over. But it never lasts the whole broadcast. That bitch put on makeup at like motherfucking 12, noon, 2 o'clock p.m. Man, by 2 o'clock a.m., all that shit be gone. What's today? Monday, when the checks come out, watch that bitch have a big ass bead wake cup of ice. Watch. She gonna do her makeup, her hair, everything, have that big ass cup of ice. Swear to God. Big ass cup of ice back on this. Y'all ain't been seeing that lady. Them checks fucked up. That's why y'all don't see this. That bag ain't hit. Monday when them checks come, watch her. Ain't gonna buy her kids a motherfucking thing with that check. 
ain't go get her kids a happy meal with that check. Them kids are strictly there for that motherfucking check. That is it and that is all. Do y'all think Ebony gonna get five thousand dollars this month? We seen her at one hundred and thirty-six k sins and one hundred and thirty-six, excuse me, one point three million sins and one point three million received, and then they just gave her all that shit yesterday. Do y'all really think that Brandon finna give her a check when he just borrowed one hundred and seventy boxes and she was broke even according to what she had already? No, no, no. No. The plan goes with you. Anywhere you go in the country. TKO, I apologize, man. If I did anything, I do want to apologize for you saying fuck me and I ain't getting my money. I want to apologize. You a bitch. And if Brandon get all they checks, why the fuck do they got to keep dropping every month? If that's be the case and he get all of their checks, why don't he keep all of their checks? He can keep all of their checks and load up his fufu and drop on everybody by himself. Why do he give them the whole check and make them drop all them beans on everybody? Is it because they want to be seen? And I'm sure TKO don't want to do it. This nigga erased his sins a million times so people can think that he got all organic support. Trying to put it on YouTube and shit. Trying to put it on IG like he got all this clout. Go watch him. He a whole different character on IG. He a whole different character because ain't nobody clocking his tea over there. That boy getting two, three hundred thousand views and shit because they really think he got this rich bag and he gonna give him a different life. Go look at him. He don't act look, nothing like that because we be clocking his tea over here. Don't get none of that shit off on us, cuz. Trina be the only broadcaster that y'all know that wake up every morning without brushing his teeth or washing his face or getting dressed. $16,000 a month, you ain't seen this man put on no new clothes, no new nothing, no new nothing, ain't changed this room around or nothing. Room in the same spot with the same bedding and threading on it. For ever since you've been watching, ain't changed the pillowcase or a sheet and always got dirty clothes in the corner with a washer and dryer in this house. Sixteen thousand a month. Don't treat himself to nothing. He gotta be a crackhead. The last four months, he's been telling us he got two hundred thousand in the bank. He ain't went to the bank yet. Yesterday, he was supposed to go screenshot his motherfucking wallet and come back on the live with it as his profile picture, and his ass refused to come back. Just like a thing. He a functional crackhead. Now watch his lives next month when the checks come out. His eyes going to be glossy as fuck. They're going to be glossy red like they done put a clear coat of motherfucking paint on this shit. Them bitches going to be glossy as hell. You know how crackheads get funny? What crackheads do? What do all crackheads know how to do? Dance. Fuck is you talking about? You get a crackhead to dance anytime just like Trina B. That nigga is a functional fiend, I swear to God. Any nigga that still neckerets, lounges, and motherfucking razors and dog food, ain't nobody ever sent their motherfucking booster to the store for dog food and razors. Ever. Ever. But you done found them fiends that come with it, don't you? That razors, lotion, all that shit from the dollar store. He a fiend. No real nigga is going to steal that shit that you went. Well, he had an order. What nigga, if you tell a nigga, go sell me a 31 pound bag of dog food, they're going to be like, what? Oh, man, come on, you playing me crazy now. Don't you think it just because I smoke, I do anything. 31 pound bag of dog food? I mean, do you have to love every single thing about the person? $10,780 worth of Walmart shit with no clothing included. It wasn't no clothes, no basketball rims, no drills, none of that. All hygiene. $10,000 worth of hygiene, motherfucking lotions and razors and crest strips. What? He just went in there and grabbed the whole goddamn shelf like, 
flipped it in the cart. He just put his hand behind all the toothpaste and slid it all in the cart and thought he wasn't going to get caught. You know you a hell of a thief when the police call a store, let you go, and the store called back like, hell yeah, that motherfucker wiped us down. He couldn't even snuck and did it. He went right in there and looked at the camera like, God damn, how did we miss this? Walk straight out the store. You got pulled over twice by the same police officer. You got to be a crackhead. The first thing you do when you get pulled over and you know you did some heinous shit is what? You went your route. I'd have got right off the E-way and took the motherfucking state route roads, man. He stayed on the same E-way from I-95 to I-95. You know what they pulling you over for this time, my boy. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, step out the car, please. Fuck is you talking about? Sir, we're going to need you to step out the car. Huh? <laughs> Move. I'm trying to tease Ebony because her dog don't like him. by my daughter. Stick your tongue out that train and be Bella. You got skin like Big Jackie. Jackie, this how your skin is, bitch. All over your motherfucking whole body. You got skin like this. Bitch, you look like a goddamn sharp payload. Bitch, you big as hell. You can do this to you, Jackie, I promise you. you big blubber built, bitch. Look at all that extra skin. Yes. Look like a like a stuffed animal. <laughs> what? Ask him. Did you see when Trina B. X. wife went off on him about putting him on lock, putting her on lock? No. I ain't know she, I ain't know she went off, but I heard it. I was there. I was watching the live when he was calling her, and the first thing he said, "Hey, how you doing? You need anything? You know them groceries? From four hundred dollars I spent on groceries. That was a lot. Well, you could have used the Sam's Club card. It was three fifty five. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that like that was like four hundred. But do you need anything? I was just calling to check on you, make sure you don't need that. You need anything? Cause you know you, you know I do anything for you. You know if you ever need anything, you can call me, right?" You got me on live. Uh, 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 u
Don't say, oh, that was a sale. I ain't got no credit. They want some. Don't say none of that weird shit. You grab your phone. You push this button right here. You hear me? You simultaneously, you push this button right here. You push this button right here, and it's not going to hang them up. It's going to stop the phone from ringing. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Button. Boop. Hello. What up, my nigga? Hell no. Huh? Hold on, let me check real quick. I don't know if I got that shit or not. Oh, look. And you walk out the room, and then you you text her real quick and tell her, I'm going to call you right back. Or you answer it once you get out of range of your girl hearing it. That's when you hurry up and ask, hello, let me hit you right back. I'm going to hit you right back. You feel me? And you can say, I'm going to hit you right back. Why? Because you done already played it off. Hello? Yeah, what's up? I don't know. Let me check real quick. Oh, no, I don't see it. Then you answer it. Hello? Yeah, let me hit you right back. I'm going to hit you right back. I mean, what, about five, ten minutes. I'm going to hit you back. You hang it up and say, yeah, I'm going to call you back. Let me check real quick. I got to go out to the car, my nigga. All right, fam. Yeah, I got you. Boom. Out of there. In Jesus' name, she ain't thinking about nothing. Now, I know type of bitches I fuck with. They'll look at the clock like, mm, it's 103. Soon as this nigga move, I'm gonna see who called his phone at 103 because he didn't answer. You gotta answer that daddy, bruh. You gotta answer that daddy, bruh. Women don't try this shit at home. We invented it. We had catch your sneaky ass. What? I ain't teaching how to cheat. I'm teaching how to not get caught when you have friends and you got insecure women. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Now shut up before I start having these niggas check your purse. I have a nigga check your purse before you leave. Let me see some deodorant in there. Let me see that deodorant and that body spray in there, bitch, because your deodorant work eight hours. Your deodorant work your whole shift. So what you got it in your purse for? What you got your deodorant in your purse for? A lot of you motherfuckers don't even be having to work. Yeah, how many? Yeah, y'all you know saying I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. No, you don't, bitch. You be off every weekend. How you working this Saturday? And they'll go to their fake ass job, which is they a side nigga house, and be home. They'll call your ass at two o'clock. Talk about I'm waiting on uh I'm waiting on my relief. They ain't got here yet. I still gotta get my report. I'm about to get my report. They still trying to get that last nut out. Cause you know when the girl cheating, it's time for her to go. You be horny. You be trying to fuck one more time. Real quick. And the girl would be late. They don't give a fuck about being... She'd be late to work. You start hitting that shit on time, but your nut don't come. She'd be late. She'd use that grace period. Amen. No, I don't need no two-person, two-paste. Niggas be having that on deck. They got that deodorant and shit. I'm telling you. And she used to have a whole little whole bag in her purse. Deodorant, motherfucking body wash. What the fuck is you doing all this shit in your purse? Just in case I need it at work, bitch. You need to quit that job if your deodorant got you doing that in the home. Exactly. What did you talking about? Anyway. What? Feminine wash. I'm telling you, I better not see none of that shit. Keep it in the trunk. I'm going to start checking that too. I'm the type of nigga to wake up and say, let me use your car. I go, come back with your, I come back with your car spotless, bitch. Don't think I went to the car wash, bitch. I was in this bitch checking. Oh, God, I checked the passenger seat and everything. This motherfucker has six foot two, bitch. Who was sitting over here? You got this seat reclined at six foot two. Who was sitting over here? And why is it two motherfucking cups in the cup holder? It's two cups from the same restaurant. You did not get two drinks, bitch. Who the fuck was in this car? No, them supersized. You don't blame nothing on the kids. I'll be on all that shit. I'm telling you. Ain't that right, Margaret? It's Fire Keeper's Lincoln Luxury SUV giveaway on Saturday, October 30th. You can win thousands in cash and prizes, including a luxurious new Lincoln Nautilus or aviator reserve. Keep your lip. Yeah, I know. I leave that seat all the way up. Make sure I know where that seat at and everything when you get in. What I did used to do is I had to take your pictures down or move some shit like your stethoscope that's on the mirror. And I forget to put the shit back. <laughs> Pussy so good, I forgot to push it back. You feel? Like, where that picture of me and the kids at? That was on the dashboard. Oh, I washed the car. I had to clean. That motherfucker in my pocket. <laughs> For real, because you know them women go through your glove box and everything. You stop at the store or something, oh, God, she getting nosy. 
She getting nosy. I promise you. She's getting nosy. She in that glove box, that armrest and everything. Yes, she knows she got 10 to 15 seconds. Get back in, her whole attitude changed. <laughs> Here you go. I don't want that no more. I'm saving it to get to the house. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. My stomach hurt. Oh, I see. This bitch done went through my glue box. <laughs> Nigga be thinking about what's in there. Huh, Bella, Bella. What are you doing? You big ass stupid. Do you ever get tired of being the nicest guy on the planet? <laughs> <laughs> under the mattress? Okay, I'll make sure. I don't hide nothing under the mattress. If you got a girl that don't clean up, you cool. You got a girl that clean up, you got high shit. Like, I'm telling you. God, I can't even tell you where the high shit at. I'm telling you. Right, Bella? I just throw shit away. I tear that shit up and throw it away. I promise you. I tear that shit straight up. I be burning shit. I don't even throw shit in the garbage can, just regular. I burn shit because it just be my luck that God made her throw some shit away that she needed. And she done went in the garbage can and find what she threw away on accident and find my bullshit. I promise you. Yeah, three box of condoms. Get a condom, a bag of condoms with three in it. I'm throwing two away. I promise you, no, the one I use, cool, the mother two is, no, you throwing them away, cuz. Remember I thought, man, you get right, no, no, we don't do that. You don't do the kissy kissy. You don't do the kissy kissy. <laughs> bitch, you better go with air. You want to kiss? You better go with air. <laughs> bitch, we don't do the kissy kissy. No. Mm. It's, it's, the, it's the men that carry the backpack. Y'all done got niggas carrying fanny pouch, fanny, fanny packs and shit. That shit is, that shit is, that shit is not. Mm mm. I hate niggas with fanny packs. Yeah, watch. She don't even get on the couch, but she don't know how to sit still. Yeah. Bella, the first dog I got that bike like a Before I got interrupted. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just go on and knock down. Listen, uh, Crystal, Crystal, your voice is one of the most annoying voices on the app. Okay, uh, for some reason you always get on this motherfucker doing your yelling and shit, and uh, more than likely. We know it's you because your baby be crying in the background. All right. When you realize that there don't nobody like you, even Brandon, that's why you can't get over a 90K tier. You will sit your funky ass down somewhere. Keep selling them medicated ass pills you get once a month. And start taking care of your child a little better, you weak, broke ass bitch. That's what you need to do. You a sad case of motherfucking bigo. All right. These are facts. I ain't mad at you, and I ain't happy for you either. I'm glad that you left me the fuck alone, but bitch, I get tired of you getting in the box. I get tired of your voice. I get tired of yo you. You really met you an embarrassment because I did door deals with you, and now, bitch, you just, I'm telling you, like, you smaller than motherfucking Cherry the Boom arms, bitch. 
You done lost all that motherfucking weight guy looking like I'll fuck anything when you get up there. That would it be looking like, like pastor ain't got no type. You look like I ain't got no type. I don't know if your gums done got bigger or your teeth done got smaller. Look like you had your teeth shaved like you was fit to get some golds or something, bitch. Queen of Beagle got on here and said because of her much she make and all she make and this and that, she can't take her money off the app, so she got to keep doing this and that. If you a uh, host that hit three million over three months in a row and you have an agency, you can take off 15000 a month. All you got to do is tell Beagle that you want to take off 15000 a month, which will make Pretty TT take off $60,000 a month. When she get through talking about how she eating up the app, she spends more than she makes on the app. I don't give a fuck what she talking about. They spent eight million. They got. They spent eight million beans this month. Eight million, and she not that eight million with them added up together. Pretty TT don't make shit on this app at all. The only way you can make money is to have some type of organic support, and she don't have none. Go to any of her broadcasts, she won't see a box. She won't get a box a day. Pretty TT cannot get one box a day. Queen of B go my ass. And she gonna be at four million because she trying to stay at number one this month. You gotta understand, after she hit her three million and waste all that money, she's wasted 17 more thousand to get the four million that she don't get no rebate on. You don't get paid for going over three million and she's at four million for the month. So she wasted another seventeen thousand dollars trying to be the queen of Bigo. And you now you nothing but another ebony without a branding. Your branding is your mama, so gone. You ain't eating shit. She ain't eating nothing. Tell her to break the number down as much as she want. Before a bitch that can't take off number $5,000 a week, you ain't eating shit. You ain't even getting your money back off the app that you putting in it if you only get $5,000 off a week. You dumb broke bitch. She over there trying to explain if you do the numbers and you do this and you crunch it, you'll see that I make more than I can take off the app. I make too much money. No, you don't. You're a lying ass bitch. No, you don't, because you don't bring in 60000 a month, and you can take off 60000 a month. I don't want to hear it. You broke. Ain't none of them eating it. If you would, you wouldn't be in that little-ass apartment. All the money you make, you in that little-ass apartment. Flying coach? Bitch, shut up. Right. No, I'm going to turn it to Pastor Pete. Yeah. I'm going to get up and put some motherfucking clothes on. And go get me something. Oh, I got to work out first. I'm finna work out, then I'm going to get dressed, and I'm going to drink a bottle, and tonight we're going to turn the fuck up that one way. Thank y'all for coming through. Hey, y'all 2,500 people, go follow me on YouTube. Appreciate it. I'm pushing continue. I meant to push. Mm -hmm. And send me a dollar. Like infants, always. In hotel rooms, man. The same reason Brandon put her in a cheap ass hotel room. Lost all respect for Empress when she took her motherfucking um, wise ass. I don't want to call her old because I fuck with the older people. But bitch, you fucking with this dude that's 10 years younger than you. He flies you to Atlanta, fucks on you, keep you off the camera, riding in his car, listening to keys to the street, telling you to lie, making you look dumb as fuck. Then takes you all the way back to Carolina to where he from. Put you in the hotel instead of letting you come to his house and put his name on the TV screen behind you. You got to be a weak ass bitch to go all the way to somebody's city to visit them and stay in a motherfucking hotel. That's what you do with hoes. You get a hoe, you make that bitch get in a hotel. I ain't going to see no bitch. You ain't never inviting me to where you from and having me in no motherfucking hotel while you going home all the motherfucking time. That's what you do with hoes. Check my rap sheet. Bitch, you fly me out, you fly me to your motherfucking house, bitch. Home-cooked meals and all that. A hoe will go anywhere. That's why they call it a hotel. 
Women do not do hotels unless they doing vacations with a nigga. If I meet you in a different state, hell yeah. I'm not going to nobody I'm doing your deals with and being in a fucking hotel.